Hey guys, welcome to Conversations with Kiki with who? Your girl Kiki. How are you guys? It has been two months. I'm so excited to see you guys. And of course, I am here to talk about the May and the June theme box nice little orange color um, so I did get my box this is for the May and the June months I did get my box a little while ago and if you follow me on social media you know that I've kind of been off of social media but I have been doing like TikToks and stuff like that but really I'm just like getting ready for the summer you know your girls out here gonna be looking fly for the summer so I'm excited to be back excited to give you a video um, this one's gonna be a little different as I'm running my mouth you'll see in the corner uh, me doing my makeup and that's kind of a uh, if I'm going to work kind of makeup or I really don't really feel like doing my makeup kind of makeup and so this is the finished product so all on my face is everything that was oh well everything except for one product that was inside the bean box so like the lipstick my eyeshadow everything you will see me doing it as I am talking um, I am gonna go over the bean box but for my new viewers hello and welcome for my returning babies hello my babies how are you and so I am gonna go over the bean box for people who don't know what the bean box is so the bean box I always tell people think of like boxycharm ipsy where you get five products a month five full-size products per month but this one is a little different is because it's curated for us melanated people out here and it's bi-monthly which I love Love, and I love the price point for it it's like $39 bi-monthly and you get five full-size products and I'm telling you she never disappoints so I will put the link down below but also check out on Instagram the bean box totally great subscription and you can cancel at any time and I think they're doing some kind of promotion that like you know if you add a friend or add a can you get like they get five dollars off or you get five dollars off I don't know but without further ado i'm gonna get into this card so of course as always she comes with a nice little placard that's gonna tell us everything that's inside the box your bean box has arrived i'm ready for my close-up and so then we have what's inside as i said i'm tried everything on and i love everything so the first thing that was in there is Truffle Eye Concentrate. It's 60 bucks and it is cruelty free and vegan and it's by Skin and Coroma. Created to target the appearance of tired eyes, puffiness, bags, dark circles, this concentrated formula with antioxidants and vitamins to protect against free radicals and environmental damage. The fruit extracts energize and reveal a brighter under eye tip use this right before your moisturizer so i'm very finicky as you guys know on uh, what a girl will be putting on her face so i didn't get to try it but this is like the box that it comes in i just opened it like a second ago this is the box that it comes in and it's wicked cute um truffle therapy so this is for under the eye i will actually try this later ah uh, when i opened it like it all came out i think i dropped the box Mm, it smells good but I'm not gonna put any on my hand now I'm pretty mad about how that just fell out of the box but it's a nice little small size a cute little gold cap and I like it I will try it and probably make a review on it and so as you're probably watching I don't know what part I'm at at the point but the next one is the infinite lip cloud by M cosmetics and it's cruelty free vegan free woman business owned formulated with goji berries extract this velvety air whipped cream glides on and saturates your pout in rich color like look at that look at that a luscious matte finish that won't crack or dry out your lips it applies a vibrant liquid lipstick and wears to a full beautiful satin so she did include a tip uh, for a really subtle look apply the lipstick with your finger dabbing the product over evenly let me tell you something right now out of this whole box this is my favorite product and I will go and go buy more from these people because let me tell you so to jump right in 
Um, this is the box. I had to beat the shadows. This box. I'm sorry, y'all. But this is the box. And so it's an infinite lip cloud, lip cloud. And the box is pretty cute. So the color that I got was evening primrose or primrose, however you pronounce it. So this is what the actual bottle looks like. And this is what the applicator looks like. So first of all, this damn thing smells like cookies. Like not like fake cookies, like real cookies. <laughs> it smells so freaking good. I'm like, God damn, I want to eat it. So it comes on. It's very, so I didn't use any lip liner, as you can tell. Um, I didn't want to take away from the color, and I wasn't sure how it would work with the lip liner because it is a little matte, but it does stay kind of satiny at the same time. I hate matte lipsticks because I have super dry skin everywhere, and my lips is included in that. And so when I used this, I was expecting it to suck the dryness out. Mm -mm, no, I like it. I like it a lot and I like how it goes on I really wouldn't recommend using your finger because it, it tends to I tried with the finger and it was really hard for me to get it where I wanted it to go I think an applicator is best just be very careful around like the little cuts of your lip I that I probably would take my little pinky and just go do 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 real quick but I would use the applicator because the application of it was smooth buttery again it smells so divine <laughs> like so great all right so the next one because we're moving right along is the rose gold set and that was ten dollars oh I'm sorry and the lip like infinity cloud shit is 20 bucks so back to the next one the rose gold brush set is ten dollars and it's by Kala brushes and it's vegan free I mean vegan sorry and cruelty free the super soft brits bristles are the perfect way to blend your colors. These five essential brushes with sleek tubes will help create the perfect eye look for any occasion and offers a quick and easy storage. So I actually already used the brushes. So as you're watching the video, you can see like the brushes I use. Every last brush that I use was this. Now you guys know I love my Sigma brushes. So that's why you can see me struggling it a bit because these are wicked small. Like, this is the packaging. They're very small. And so it was hard for me to maneuver because like my Sigma brushes are so long. I'm so used to like putting my finger way back here and just boo -doo -doo -doo, and it's so fluffy. Not that these are not fluffy. It just was hard for me because I'm so used to having like a large brush. So I put them back in the plastic just to show you guys, but I'm gonna take them out. So just comparing them to my Sigma brush, Sig, like, you know, look at that. There's so a difference, like in length. But in quality, they're almost the same. They're like just as soft. Don't worry, I'm gonna wash this. And they're just as fluffy. And they're pretty sturdy. I was worried about sometimes when I see like those little lines right there that shit's gonna start falling off or unraveling. No, I like it. I didn't use this one. So the ones that I did use, I used this one right here and I used these two. So I used this one to just line my under eye because I don't I haven't been putting on like true eyeliner because I have allergies. And so I feel like putting too much shit under my eye or near my eye is actually making the allergies worse. So I've really only been lining the top of my eye with my thick cat wing but I just put mascara on the bottom and then call it a day and then put like a little bit of um whatever color I used on my outer crease under the bottom just to give a nice little effect so that's this brush that I use that's we can see some color on there it came out really good it's not usually for that when I do that under my eye I will actually tell you the brush that I use it doesn't want to be found. I don't know where it is, but it is a Sigma brush. Oh, it's right here. I usually use this one and see the brush is a little bit thicker just so I can go foo foo foo. But I actually kind of like this one. Maybe I'll change it. So I actually use this one and these don't have names. I don't know the name of them, but I would say it's like a flathead brush. And I use this one to actually cut my crease and 
that's what you'll see me doing in the video cutting my crease is with that one and then I use this one to do my crease and then like the outer V shape of my eyes like with the product that I'm gonna discuss after this so this one again still really short but it's very fluffy I'm not gonna put my finger on it just because <laughs> and so this is another one that's kind of fluffy and I think I use this one to actually was it to put the gold on I don't remember I think this one I used to put the gold on actually no I'm sorry I actually used this one to fluff out and you know move the product around and make the edges look a lot more softer because I have put it on so harsh so this one is just like the carrying case it looks like to carry all of them in there Ooh, I'm dropping stuff so yeah which I didn't even open it to be honest with you to see what it was but I like that idea so this is small and I like this because to be honest with you I cruise a lot which yay I'm going back on my first cruise since the pandemic hit in October knock on wood so I'll be bringing this with me because I actually really do like the brushes and I like the way that they handled and I like the way that they picked up product and I like the way that I was able to maneuver my makeup on um they do actually have some instructions on the back like how to do you know your eyeshadow makeup like with the tapered blending brush and things like that I don't know brushes by name unless the damn brush has the name on it I just know if it's flat it ain't flat it's round it ain't round <laughs> but I like that and that is definitely something that will stay in my little staple of stuff especially when I travel because sometimes I don't like bringing my Sigma brushes because they're so large and because I can put them in a case I feel like this is very good for the girls that do travel like me or just you know you want to keep your brushes in the same spot and not have like a whole bunch of crap like I have over here so the next thing is called liquid gold and it's $25 and it's by Bella Pierre and it's cruelty free and vegan it's now your time to shine with the liquid gold shimmering highlighter this dynamic highlighter is full of shimmer and subtle sparkle to help you achieve a beautiful glow our gentle, lightweight formula glides on the skin for perfect radiant glow. Tip, enhance your look with a half pea size drop blended onto the high cheeks of uh, high points of your cheekbone. I already really don't like, ooh, sorry. I already don't like mess with highlighter like that. I'm trying to find the one that I usually use. I don't know where it is, but it's powder form. So when I do like rock with highlighter, I actually really do prefer the powder form, but I gave this one a try as you can see somewhere in the video um, this is the box and it's cute it just says their name and it's liquid gold 24 karat and this one was not hard to open like some of the other ones that give me like a hard time and this is the actual product itself here are my gripes and this is probably a personal preference kind of gripe I don't like highlighters that are not in um, powder form because I feel like it's very hard to move the product around if you watch the video um, at some point you're gonna see me kind of struggle because with like the powder highlights I'm, I hate saying it and not being able to show you but we'll just pick like something Ooh, I found some earrings <laughs> All right, Claude have mercy, I'm gonna use Kylie. I don't really like using Kylie, but we're gonna do it. So, and of course me talking shit to it doesn't wanna open. So I actually prefer to use powder because I feel like powder, one, you can like concentrate it in certain areas and you don't have to concentrate it. So with liquid, it's hard. Like I put it on the back of my hand and then I tried it that way and I didn't like it. So then I put it on a, like on my skin, I think directly and I use a blendy brush, uh, not a blendy brush, a uh, sponge. Still didn't like it. I like powder because then I can just go in like this and then like, you know, just hit like those light spots and just go just like that. And hit the highs of my cheek. You get what I'm saying? I don't even have to take my damn glasses off. So I got it highlighted on like one side. 
and I like to highlight my nose so always make like a little shiny spot and that's how I like it so I did do that I did take some I put it on my finger I don't really like the application of it <laughs> and I'll try it again because I always believe in trying things two times so I'll try it again but as of now this kind of looks like it's going in the pile that I'll give to my daughter because I don't know if I'll use this one again but not saying it's just I personally don't use liquid highlighters I prefer I'm old school I like the powder it's just more manageable for me it's easier for me to put it on places where I want to put it on and I feel like it doesn't take away from the makeup because I felt like when I was putting the liquid on it was like moving like what little contour and blush I have there and y'all gonna laugh at me I accidentally in the video put way too much blush on Funnily, the blush that I was using is from a previous um, bean box. I don't remember what month that was, and I've been using it ever since. I want to say it was somewhere in like maybe the January, February box, but I've been using that ever since, and I love that one. But I accidentally put way too like much on, so you see, I figured it out. Like you can't see it that well now. Like I figured it out, but. I wasn't figuring it out at that point. I was starting to get mad. I was like, God damn it. I'm not going to do this video all over again. I can't. And so what I did is sometimes if you put too much blush on, a good tip is whatever like you can take. I usually put my foundation on with a beauty blender. So just take whatever like leftover you had and just try to damp it down. And that's what I did because I wasn't about to take the makeup off and do it again. No. <laughs> Y'all wasn't going to have it. It wasn't going to happen. No. All right, y'all. Last but not least is the eyeshadow quad, which is $30 by Mellow Cosmetics. And they are all three, which is cruelty free, vegan free, and woman owned. An eyeshadow quad created with four complementary shades to achieve multiple looks from a neutral smoky eye to a sexy slash of color and everything in between. This quad is designed to bring out the modern goddess in you. So her tip is all four colors are cohesive and can be used to create a full eye makeup look. So their box, which is going to reflect my camera, sorry I can tell it right now, is this. And you know I like shiny things. I'm like a cat. It always reminds me of like playtime. <laughs> and this is the actual product. Well, the box. And then the piece of the resistance is this is the product. So um, in the video, I pointed out to you what I have on, which is this one and that. So there's a part of the video where like when I start the video, I actually already did most of my makeup like I did my eyebrows and I actually um, put on some eye primer which I don't know where it is now but it's Juvia's place and I'm mad at them right now because I don't like how their eye their eye primer is like oh. I think they changed their formula because it's pissing me off and then I actually did put on a lighter shade of makeup and I didn't use this one because I didn't feel like they were light enough. So I actually used my Natasha Denona palette and I just went over it really quickly. And so that's like my base color that I use. So I use these colors right here and they are super pigmented. You actually see me go in a couple of times with this one. There are no names for each one, but I go in a couple of times with this one only just because I wasn't really sure. I had tried the makeup on before. But I wasn't really sure like if you could see it because I'm still messing with my lights. Number one, the smaller video is done on my cell phone. Um, and I just got a new ring light from the same people that I had before. But my other one was like ticking me off. I lost the little piece so it's falling and <sighs> technical difficulties y'all. So I wasn't sure like it was gonna stay like or be very visible or vibrant. Which I was wrong. It's super vibrant. And this one though, it does have some fallout, which sparkly ones do, but this one does have some fallout, not any more, not any less than other ones, but it's not as like pigmented as other ones. Like I did have to, you watch me in a video, I'm going in like God damn it with this brush trying to get it on. So it does take a little maneuvering. I haven't tried these colors yet. Um, these will probably be my go-to for work like this. I can see a color story with just these three right here. Um, I don't usually put anything in my um, inner lid. I don't know why. 
I'm just old school with it and if I did, I definitely probably would use that one, but I'd be really careful of it. So, actually that is the end of the box. So, I wanna say, out of all the products in the box, definitely my favorite one is this damn lipstick. I'm gonna go back on this site and their stuff is $20, so it will be, I'm usually like pretty cheap when it comes to lip stuff because I like whip mask and now I live in Massachusetts so as these people are acting crazy we probably getting ready to go back into like wearing masks in general because the summer's coming um so I haven't tried this with a mask yet and see if there's any transference but I don't think that there is because I gave my son a kiss and I didn't see anything on his face so we'll see but I definitely am gonna go on their website and see what else I like on there and that's the good thing I like about the bean box too that I tell people they introduce you to things that now you probably will be a lifelong buyer of the eyeliner that I use you saw me show you too I actually use elf to like color in but to line it and whatnot I actually use one that I got from boxycharm let me see if I can get it this is my big bag of tricks so I think it's called Mimi or Mimi or something like that. But I actually got it, not from BoxyCharm, sorry y'all. I got it from the Bean Box. It, yeah, it's Mimi. It's an expert liner. I got it from the Bean Box like a long time ago. And it's been my favorite ever since. Even on that video. Like anytime I've done my makeup, I would use the Mimi liner to just outline. And then when I want to clean it up like I color it in and clean it up I use the liquid eyeliner by elf these are like two dollars and this is the blush that I used today so you guys will remember this one because I like doted it on the top I thought the top was so cool kind of remind me like of the matrix and so oh here goes a damn eye primer this is the primer I'm talking about from Juvia like we have a love-hate relationship like I love the primer Monday through Friday and then someday and Saturday and Sunday I'll be like god dang it I hate you um, I also for when I first did my under eye because I've been having bags and I think it's really just because of like the spring or almost summer now I use like the Fenty Beauty I think it's called the um, bright eye fix so I just went under and for concealer in case you guys can't see, I use Il Maquillage. This is like a Facebook, Instagram brand. They are very expensive. I think this damn thing cost me $26. But when I say it's worth it and I'm almost to the bottom, I'm going to use it. I'm going to get it again. I didn't get this in the bean box. This is the things I'm naming now. It's just I'm telling you what I put on my face. Uh, this one is in shade 13. It's called Fuck I'm Flawless. I really love this stuff. So when I started the video, I definitely had already did my face. I primed it with my unseen sunscreen and I put, I use a um, tinted moisturizer. I really don't use a full coverage foundation anymore because I like to be as clear and not as heavily like foundated or whatever the word is as much as possible because I feel like this just makes my skin glow and it is what it is. Um, as for the concealer to get rid of that big five block that I have, I use my Juvia's Place. I think this is a shade Nambia. Yes, yeah, shade Nambia. Now I have two of them. This one, see how it looks on the inside? You can tell I've been taking my brush, so I always buy two. And then this one still is like a full stick so that I'm not messing up this one. I know some people be like, this is full, but it's like... Then if I'm trying to put it on and do my little devil dots, it's not going to work because it's all freaking messed up. Um, I think that's all I really used today because like I said, I wasn't really trying to do heavy, like heavy, heavy, heavy makeup. Oh, mascara in case y'all. Y'all know I've been fighting with my mascaras. There was a mascara that I got from the Bean Box that is very similar to this one. So it's this one right here by Chella. And in that video, I did swear by it. But for some reason, like, I don't know, it's like clumping on me. And I don't know if that's maybe because I did something wrong. So I actually went back to Maybelline. Again, you guys, if you follow me for a long time, you know that I have a love-hate relationship with them. So now I have been using Sky High. Do I like Sky High? No. Do I feel like I still have to use two damn mascaras, like, to plump up my eyes? Yeah. Um, why don't I just wear lashes? One, you see I have glasses. 
to um, I do actually wear lashes which I wear Glamnetic they're very good for people who have glasses let me tell you right now and I, I, I wholeheartedly love this stuff and you don't have to buy their stupid ass um, liner you can actually buy one from kiss and kiss is six dollars and it's still work and kiss actually works better than the glamnetic one which is 25 dollars i was like y'all bugging what so that was really all i used today i didn't put anything like i said nothing on my water line because i already got shit flying in my eye all day i don't need nothing else flying in here so without further ado as i always tell you guys where i'm going at the end of the episode i ain't going nowhere I swear to God, as soon as I am done, I'm taking this damn dress off. I'm about to take a shower. I took my braids out, as you can see. So today I got my Velma wig on and my hat that tried to escape earlier. So I am getting ready to go take a shower, take all this off. And I'm about to lay down <laughs> because I am like ready for the summer to come. So I'm about to lay down, about to watch some Golden Girls. And I am about to chillax. So it's so great to be back. And I hope you guys enjoy my video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And I promise, I really am going to try this. Like, oh, do you hear Goku? He probably mad at me because they threw him out. He has, like, this fighting war with the pit bull down the street. And I can't hear myself when Goku barks, hence last video. Um, so, yeah, I really am going to try. There we go. Shush! I really am going to try this. I will let you guys know how it works um and how i feel about it so thank you my babies thank you for coming to say hello thank you guys for showing up um as always make sure that you follow me on like instagram make sure you follow me on tiktok i am trying my best to learn how to do tiktoks and i like doing them um and just keep up with me and what i'm doing daily i'm hopefully this is gonna be a great summer so peace